Bezat Hashem. This is Laser Brody from the Holy Land of Israel with the 1 p.m. Amuna News. A suspect was arrested earlier today for allegedly stabbing and wounding five people at a synagogue in Rockland County, according to the New York Police Department. According to police, a suspect entered a synagogue known as Rabbi Rottenberg's Shul, located in the Forche neighborhood of Muncie, New York, Saturday night during the lighting of the Hanukkah candles. The suspect pulled out a machete, which he used to stab people. Two people were critically injured, and three received minor injuries. Apparently, three of the injured are Rabbi Rottenberg's children, Mayor Shlomo and Chaim. We pray for their full recovery. This adds to a string of violent anti-Semitic attacks in the USA during this year, including the recent Jersey City murders, the Pittsburgh massacre, the attack on the Chabad House in Poway, California, and scores of violent anti-Semitic assaults in the New York area. I'm one of news correspondents from around the world report that yesterday Hashem did everything for the best. Today, Hashem continues to do everything for the best. And now for the weather. Our Muna meteorologist forecasts that tomorrow everything will be for the best too. So put a smile on your face and strengthen your Muna. That's in Muna News. Everything was, is, and will be for the very best. Laser! Are you crazy? What could be so good about people getting attacked and maimed because they're Jews? No, I'm not crazy. The Amuna News was written by Nahomish Gamzu and edited by Rabbi Akiva. Both of them said that everything is for the best amid the most unbelievable, painful, and trying situations. Open up your Gomorrah and tractate Brachas or Tanis and you'll see for yourself. So what could be good about the Muncie attack? We do not know. We can't know what Hashem does and we can't know why Hashem does. But we are very grateful to Hashem that no one was killed because such an attack could have been much more tragic. We do know one important fact. The worst thing for the Jewish people is spiritual slumber. When they either don't see Hashem or they ignore Hashem, Hashem wants us all to wake up. So he sends us wake-up calls. And that's what's behind Pittsburgh, Jersey City, and apparently Muncie, because we failed to wake up until now. So, Forche gets added to the list. What does it mean to wake up? It means that we take stock in ourselves, that we engage in daily self-assessment. According to the Chogis Levavas, this is an absolute daily obligation. Here's why. With no daily self-assessment, there's no tshuva. With no tshuva, there's no cleanliness of the soul. With an unclean soul, we can't learn a muna. And without a muna, there's only sadness, depression, anxiety, and suicides, and a long list of other negative phenomena. So let's turn it around. With a muna, there's no sadness, depression, anxiety, suicides, and all kinds of other negative phenomena. So, in our Muna Beam's talk after the Jersey City Massacre, we said that no enemy can harm a hair on a Jewish head until one Jew harms another Jew. We must therefore search ourselves and see if we did not do or say anything detrimental against another Jew that could have been fuel on the fire of violent anti-Semitism. It's not enough to be stringent in the mitzvahs between man and Hashem, like Shabbos and Kashrus. Hashem wants us to be especially careful, to love our fellow human, to conduct honest and upright business dealings, and to guard our tongues. For whatever a person says against a Jew or a group of other Jews, it falls in the hands of dark side forces, the Mekatrigim, and it's their justification to harm Jews wherever they are, heaven forbid. So if the Muncie attack wakes us all up to do tshuva, self-assessment to strengthen our Amunah like it's designed to do, then it will surely hasten the coming of Mashiach and the rebuilding of our Holy Temple in Jerusalem. Speed in our days. Amen. Because it's all for the best. God bless.